You know what? My driver trainer worries exactly too much. But you know what, though? That's not necessarily a bad thing, right? That's not necessarily a bad thing. Actually, that's quite a good thing. I would rather have a driver trainer that's overly assertive in his job versus one that's lackluster. But my driver trainer is, ugh aggravating my god he worries about every little thing i'm like i got it oh you're making that t oh i got it you're making that turn watch it oh i got oh <sighs> my god my trainer he worries about everything every little detail he worries about and he almost contradicts himself he'll say okay don't park at the fuel pump too long you know because you know that will upset some people right then i turn around and i get into a, a parking space at night well why did you park back here uh, why didn't you just park at the pump? I, well, just the other night you said don't park at the pump. Dog, gonna make up your mind, man. Ugh, you're all over the place. You got me all worried and stressed all out. Jeez. He's a cool guy, though, man. But he worried too freaking much. Calm down. And I got you. No, I'm just kidding, man. Stay on your job, dog. You doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's like, hey, anybody who who care about their job, man, do it to the T, okay? You know what I'm saying? Because if you got to put your name on anything, if you got to put your John Hancock on anything, baby, you make sure that you grade A. Whatever it is that you do, you can stand on it, man. And I appreciate that, bro. All right? Hey, shout out to all those trainers who be on their trainees back. I mean, stay on their neck and till. You know what I mean? That's just good training right there, man. That's just good discipline right there. You just can't go wrong with that. All right. Hey, I'm going to check in with y'all a little later, man. This is for the culture.